a lot of war reporting ends up having a weird feeling to it, like a weird edge. And you realize oh, that's the edge of the reporter itself. Well, right. the difference in an epidemic, you have that. You have that adrenaline thing going on. But you have this other thing happening, which is this tremendous sense of social burden. If I get one bit of information inaccurate, it could cause the wrong kind of panic. It could lead people to do in, incorrect things and other people die. I have covered wars as well as epidemics and political stories and so on. And the first time I was embedded covering a war for a long time was the Persian Gulf War. A long time ago when George H. Bush was president. And um, it was the first time that I met that special kind of journalists and, and uh, particularly photojournalists who are really adrenaline junkies. They go, they've gone to so many crises that they actually don't like to live anymore like a normal person. They, they need threat in their life. They need the adrenaline pumping or else they sink into deep depression. Um, and when they go from high adrenaline to low, it's a deep snap and it leads to PTSD and all kinds of uh, issues. And often as a result, they become alcoholics and use a lot of drugs and so on. It's a, it's a really nasty cycle. And I remember observing it and thinking, wow, now I understand why a lot of war reporting ends up having a weird feeling to it, like a weird edge. And you realize oh, that's the edge of the reporter itself. Well, right. the difference in an epidemic, you have that. You have that adrenaline thing going on. But you have this other thing happening, which is this tremendous sense of social burden. If I get one bit of information inaccurate, it could cause the wrong kind of panic. It could lead people to do in, incorrect things and other people die. And it, the burden is so great that uh, I, I know I'm not alone. I talk to my colleagues. I know they feel the same way. You lose sleep. You, you wake up in the middle of the night going, oh, my God, did I misstate this? Did I get this wrong? And uh, the sense of guilt, of shame, any error, it's overwhelming. And, you know, I have to say, I actually lose sleep when somebody who might just be a snarky jerk, you know, posts on Twitter that I made a mistake, that I was incorrect. And then, oh, my God, I have to go back and reread all my notes and rethink, <laughs> did I get that right? Did I get that right? So you have this weird combination, Andy, where we have this adrenaline thing happening like a war correspondent, but we have this burden and shame and uh, uh just, you know, the, the, the level of detail that we feel we need to know about the science, about the social behavior, about the politics, the economics, the, the, the local politics, the international politics, everything. It's all got to be somehow in here all the time and right. working properly. Whew. <laughs> it's exhausting. 